Hey, hey, what is good, beautiful people? Hopefully, this setup right now, if you could see this, um, we are now in my bedroom, obviously. <laughs> and uh, this is like the best lighting in my apartment, so that's why I'm filming it right here, and that's why I'm just laying, sitting on my bed. Um, but just wanted to make a little video and do like a little real talk um, over the past couple of weeks, just to update you a little bit, fill you in on how things are going, and uh, yeah. So, um, as I've just been, I don't know how, if you follow me on Instagram or other social media, but, um, basically a couple weeks ago I did, um, a physique competition. Um, it's my second show that I've done. I did one about five years ago and, um, figured I just wanted to do it. I give it another shot, do it again. Um, give me another goal to kind of work towards. So, um, did that a couple weeks ago and, uh, it was a great experience. I did summer shredding and, uh, down in Houston with, um, you know, Alpha Lead and all of the people that um, are associated with the, that brand and, and uh, Alpha Land and everything and everyone that flies down to do the show. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about how things have been like after the show as far as like my nutrition and my diet um, and some of those things, uh, specifically related to like binge eating. And um, this is something that I've actually never in my life had to uh, have done before, I guess. Um, like I've always done macros and I've always done um, like give it fit your macros, flexible dieting. Um, I think when I first started like working out back in high school, I was like, super strict on my diet. Like I only ate like chicken, veggies, rice. Um, like I wanted to stay lean and shredded year round. And then I discovered like give it fit your macros. I started watching like Max Tuning videos. Um, Matt August started watching Christian Guzman. Um, and just talk about like macros and I was like oh this is cool let me try this diet out this way of eating out and uh, that's pretty much what I've always been doing that's what I did during my cut and now like after I I think I just took like my diet super 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 seriously um, I'm still doing macros but I'm still like eating kind of flexibly if that's a word um, and so like lost like lost the weight that I wanted to like I started at 20 two or two or three got down to like 182, 183. So I lost like 20 pounds over the span of, it's like a three month cut. So like 12 weeks, like a hundred, I'm sorry, it was hundred days. So almost like 14 weeks. And so, um, you know, I lost that like 20 pounds just by doing the macros and like making sure I was in a deficit. And then like after the show, I kind of, um, kind of like rebounded a little bit, <laughs> a lot of bit, I guess. And so, um, I kind of like let myself just have a few days where I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna really track macros. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want, like intuitively just eat. Um, just cause I was so like strict with my diet when I was doing my prep. And so, um, you know, when I got back home, I gave myself a few days and um, I found myself like at night. I don't know if any of you have ever like struggled with binge eating or anything like that before. Like I know I personally had never since I always did macros, like I never, you know, it's very, if it fits your macros, like flexible dieting, like it wasn't really strict. It was just, as far as like food goes, it was like eat whatever you want as long as it fits in your macros. But I'd find myself at night um, where I could not control myself. Like I just would stop, I could not stop eating. And um, specifically with, like it got to a point where I was like, I couldn't buy certain groceries when I went to the grocery store. Like I couldn't buy peanut butter because I would just demolish that thing. I would just demolish this peanut butter. Um, and um, just like certain other foods, like protein bars, like I would just have so many protein bars and I just could not stop eating protein bars like at night. Um, and like, I've never struggled with, had this thing before. And um, it's definitely something that I'm now completely conscious of now. Um, and I would just like, know exactly what I was doing, but it was almost just like, I just wouldn't stop. I couldn't, it was like in my head or something. I don't know. It was just like, cause I guess I was just so strict with my, with my diet and losing the weight. So I, had, I ended up going from like 202 or 203 when I started my cut, getting down to like 182, 183 as my low, or like as a stage weight, um, a couple weeks ago. And then I rebounded within about two weeks back up to, I hit a high of 202, like flat, within two weeks of my show. And um, now this morning I'm back down to like 197.6, um, trying to get back to like a better maintenance level 
Um, that was my goal kind of coming off this show. I've just giving myself a couple of days or I guess a couple of weeks now just kind of like eating um, intuitively. But I realized like I can't really do that. It's like a, it's something that I'm trying to get better at. It's like I don't want to really track. I just track my macros using my fitness file, but I don't really want to do that forever, right? I just want to be able to like intuitively eat, just like eat when I'm hungry. But I think like when I've been tracking macros for five or plus years now and like using my fitness pal and I think just because I've been doing that so much I don't really even know like <laughs> when I'm hungry it's weird to even say that out loud um but I, since I just kind of eat whenever like I don't really have designated eating times or quantities of food I just like fit my macros right just because I didn't want it to be as strict but now I'm realizing now I'm on the kind of the other end of the spectrum it's almost like I need these designated times to eat certain foods and eat like healthy foods and eat, get my vitamins and minerals and get my fruits and veggies in um, or else just at night I just find myself like overeating and not being able to like control myself around certain foods so um, it's a very interesting I guess um, past couple weeks I would say something that I've never really experienced before um, and but um, but yeah it's I think now it's just kind of first like being aware of that this is kind of like what I'm doing and um and then I think like secondly is is having these goals of like okay maybe okay you know we have our maintenance macros which for me right now are 200 protein 400 carb uh 80 fat this comes about to about 3120 calories and um now I'm trying to actually have like designated you know Connor like well, let's have let's have a breakfast let's have a lunch let's have a dinner maybe a snack before we go to bed um, and I used like the old Connor would be like, you know, we don't need those. Like we don't need to be so strict with our meal times and everything like that. Um, just eat whatever you want. And now where I find myself is like, I can't do that or else I'm going to just overeat and I can't control myself when I'm eating, especially like snacks, like rice cakes, pretzels, um, with peanut butter. Like I can't control myself with that. Um, so now I'm trying to be better with like having designated meal times. Um, and I, I'm finding myself like eating very similar like foods with these meal timings. Um, so typically for breakfast, I'll have like egg whites. I'll maybe throw an egg or like a whole egg or two in there um, with three servings of egg whites. And then I'll do like two servings of Kodiak cake pancakes. And um, pretty much just doing that for my like breakfast slash lunch. It's like a late breakfast after my runs and my lifts in the morning. And then typically I'll have, um, you know, typically, I don't know if I really have a lunch per se. It's more so that. And then for dinners, I'll usually just have two turkey burgers with some kind of like microwavable veggie pack. And um, usually for like a snack, I guess in between my breakfast slash lunch and dinner, I'll have like some fruits just to get my fruits and veggies in. And then my dinners will be, you know, like either rice or pasta for my carbs and then um, like two turkey burgers and then my veggies. Um, get my veggie servings in and then usually for right before I go to bed my snack is usually just oatmeal um, I'm trying to get back on that Just to get a little bit more consistency <laughs> in my diet and uh, because that's what I need to kind of control myself now um, It's kind of weird to say that but um, But yeah, that just has been working for me and uh, another thing I wanted to make in this video was um, I'm trying to cut out caffeine or at least limit my intake for that um, because I, I was finding myself, especially when I was dieting, I was having so much caffeine and I was almost relying on it too much to kind of like get through my days and get, get my work done that I need to get done. Um, so in the mornings I would typically do like, um, at least two servings of coffee, I think is like on my Keurig, I'll do like the big size and like I'll do the middle size. Um, and that would be like my coffee that I'll drink as I was like driving to the gym. And then I would drink that and then I'll have my pre-workout like when I was at the gym and then I'd come home and I at least have like in my in the afternoon I get home from the gym and I'd have like at least one or two energy drinks <laughs> just because I have all these energy drinks like in my apartment um, just to get through my days and, I, and sometimes I'd even have like more coffee too. So um, it was something that I'm trying to like, cut back on. So um, this is actually day. So the past three days I was good. Got through three days of completely no caffeine. Um, I started to get some headaches. It was so weird. Like I've never actually gotten, I don't really think I probably have really gotten some kind of headache before, but nothing that was really noticeable to me that like bothered me or anything like that. But, um, 
think it was like caffeine withdrawal headache that I was trying, that I was going through. Like I was completely cold turkey, cut out caffeine, didn't do it at all um, for three days. And uh, today I actually, <laughs> I had some, I went to the coffee bean and tea leaf. That's right, I think that's how you call it. Yeah, um, by my apartment. And uh, I got I got a little coffee there. And so, um, and then I had like an energy drink when I came home. Cause I was like, oh, you know what? There goes the little streak, but um, but yeah, it's just trying to like what I'm limiting, I'm trying to limit myself to, or just at least be aware of like how much caffeine I'm taking in throughout my days. Um, because I'm noticing that at first, you know, when you get that little energy buzz, like when it gets into your bloodstream, like the caffeine, um, like it feels super good. I almost feel like happy in a way. It's weird to like say that, um, but it gives you that like motivation or push to like do whatever you have to do as far as like needing energy to do, whether that's like a workout or just get through a bunch of work that you have to do um, or, you know, something of that nature. But then like there's this crash almost that you kind of go through, or at least that I experienced that um, when it kind of wears off that caffeine like rush or, or it's kind of like a sugar rush. I, I don't know. It's probably, I'm not, a, I don't know scientifically what it is like, but it almost seems that way. Um, we kind of come down from that caffeine um, buzz or whatever you want to call it. And you just like, I just felt like slumped. Like I was like, I was almost like, um, I don't know. It was just, it was like a, you kind of like come off of that in whether you're still like trying to get through your workout or whatever. It's just like, you're just dragging your, or through the work or whatever you have to get done. You're like dragging yourself through it. So um, I tried to cut back on that. I'm trying to cut back on that a little bit. Um, so whether that's just like minimal, like, I think that I'm just going to not cold Turkey because like today I was just like, I just, I need like something. And so, um, that's why I just got a little coffee this morning. And so, um, I'll probably just limit it on my, on my, on my most days and see if I can get down to like minimizing it as much as possible on a day to day basis. Um, instead of just cutting it cold Turkey out because maybe eventually I can get to that point. Hopefully I can not just like rely on it so much because I'm trying to get to a point where I can just like control like my actions and thoughts and all this other stuff um, to the point where I'm not like needing anything externally to like motivate me or push me or to get me through anything that I have to do um, that I know I have to get done. So, uh, but yeah, that was, that was pretty much just my real talk. I actually did that in one clip. Hopefully this did not stop recording, um, which I'm pretty impressed at. Um, typically I'm like, having me do this multiple times but um yeah hopefully uh i don't know if this is, this helps at all but this just be being a little transparent um and never done something like this before but um this was kind of cool so uh yeah love you guys always and i will see you in the next one peace